I'll be showing you step-by-step -step how to add a moving announcement bar to your Shopify store. So let's dive right into it here. So we're going to be using a completely free app. It's called Essential Announcement Bar. And this is just going to make the process so much easier for any Shopify theme you're using. And as mentioned, this is completely free. So you can find this in the Shopify app store. I'll also leave a link in the description below. But once you're on the Shopify app page, we'll click install. And from there, if you're comfortable with the permissions, we'll click install again. From there, this is going to load our setup screen. So you should get a pop-up saying we need to both activate it and we can go create our first announcement bar. So I'm going to click the activate link. If you don't see this, you can head over to your Shopify themes, click on your current theme, go to the left hand side under app embeds. And from there you can search for announcement bar. You just want to make sure this is enabled. And then to save this, I'll go to the top right hand side, clicking on save. This is going to enable it in our currently published theme. So I have a head back to the app here. I'm going to next click create announcement bar. And so the type of announcement bar is going to depend what you want to announce to your customers. Are you announcing a sale, a limited stock run? It's really going to be up to you. I'm going to stick with the simple announcement bar, but there's also a running line announcement. So it's going to be similar to a stock ticker where the text is going to scroll across the bar. There's also multiple rotating announcements. So you can have multiple different things in your announcement bar. So sticking with the simple announcement, we're going to give this the name. This is going to be up to you and it's going to be internal. So your customers aren't going to see it. Now for the title, I could say Valentine's sale or better yet let's actually go easter sale as that is coming up soon i'm just going to say get 30 percent off we can also add a subheading so maybe it's only on a specific collection only camping gear next we have our call to action so we make this a button or we can make the entire bar clickable i'll just leave this as the button for now and it's just going to be shop now and from here we can enter in a link maybe it's a specific collection of products such as a new release we can copy and paste that here. I'm not going to add the close icon as I want this bar to be visible completely across our store. We can also add translations if necessary, but I'm just going to click continue to design. For the positioning, we can set it to the top of the page or the bottom of the page. I want to set this to the top of the page and I'm going to make this a sticky bar. So it's going to move with the page as the user scrolls. For the template, there are some pre-built ones here and different themes we can keep. I'll just leave it as custom here. And we get some options to change the background color, whether we wanted to set it to a gradient or a solid color, the corner radius. So if I change this, you can see it's more rounded on the corners here. We can change the border size, border color, typography, and settings around the button. I'm just gonna leave all of these as the default here, but feel free to customize this to match your store and help the announcement bar stand out. So if I scroll back to the bottom, I'm gonna click on continue to placement and here we can decide where to show our announcement bar. Maybe we just want this on a few specific pages or specific products. We can set that here to every page, homepage only, all product pages, specific pages, or specific collections or all collections. I'm gonna leave this on every page here because I want this to show completely across my Shopify store. Now all I have to do is hit publish in the top right. I can now see that my announcement bar, which the default name was announcement name, is now published on my store. So let's click this preview announcement bar in store. You could also hit view online store in the left hand side menu. It's just gonna open up your theme here. So if I see on the top, I now have my announcement bar enabled and the link looks to be working and it's only gonna be for camping gear. Now I do notice there is an existing announcement bar. So if I just head over to online store, customize, then I go to the header here and I just hit the trash icon. I remove the existing bar and this is gonna make it so I only have one announcement bar for my store. I'll hit save to finalize that. And just like that, you added a moving announcement bar for free to your Shopify store. If you've made any sales on Shopify, you know it can be hard to keep track of how much money your store has actually made. That's where our sponsor Profit Calc comes in, the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. It's a one-click calculator, so all you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations and to see how profitable your store actually is. It's going to include a ton of different details, analytics, and metrics, so you can truly understand your store's performance and make smarter business decisions. It's going to link seamlessly with all your different ad accounts, as well as many cost of goods sold options. There's a free 15-day trial, so you can test everything out for yourself 
And there's a link in the description below to access the Shopify app listing directly. You can also find it in the Shopify app store by searching for profit calc and then looking for this logo in the top left. So make sure you check that out there. So this is going to conclude the video on how to add a moving announcement bar to your Shopify store. If this video helped, make sure you like and subscribe below as that really helps the channel out. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in our next video.